Richard FPD, thank you for a $10 super chat. I'm trying to get LED strip working on the Rotorite Brave FC. No LED pin exists. That's surprising. Rotorite Brave F7. Let's look. Made in the USA. Made in the USA. It was made in the USA. Uh, what do we got here? Well, not there. Direct solder pin out. I'm really surprised if it doesn't have an LED pin. I mean, it seems like you're right that it doesn't. And pardon me for doubting you, but like there, there's a chance that you just overlooked it and I just never like to assume. Huh. It doesn't seem to have an LED pin, a pad. That's kind of a weird choice. Like usually you would have one somewhere but it doesn't okay uh so what would i do if i wanted to remap what's e5 and e6 what are e5 and e6 are those extra motor outputs i'm gonna go on the assumption that e5 and e6 are extra motor outputs pit mode user one mode okay um, so here's what I would do. I would, um, I would go in beta flight. Wait for it. I would go in beta flight. Oh, right. This flight controller. Sorry about the noise. Sorry about the beat. That's me, not you. That flight controller has iNav on it. That's me. This is also me, not you. Okay. So you go to the uh, flight controller and you type. You type resource. And then you look at the output. And what you're looking for is resource motor six. Here we go. Resource motor six, B01. The key thing is B01. That's the pin number for motor six. If for some reason you don't see motor six, what you got to do is you got to go. Okay, you go to the motors tab. I didn't see what was written. Yeah. You go to the motors tab and you change to a, a, a hexacopter mixer and that forces it to have six motor outputs. And when you do that, then go to CLI. You got your pin number. Motor 6 or motor 5 B00. Okay? Then you're going to type resource LED strip B00. Save. Now B00 is your, or whatever your pin number is, is your LED output. And then you just do the configuration. You go to the configuration tab and you enable LED strip and you go to the LED tab and you configure your LEDs, yada, yada, yada. But you got to get that pin number and you got to pick a pin. You got to pick a pin that you're going to use. And in your case, I think it should be E5 or E6, which I'm guessing are... It says here ESC one two three four. I'm guessing E five and E six are uh, your LED or your motor the outputs. The requirement for usable pad is it has a timer, right? I can't remember what the requirement is, but okay. I think it's a timer. Motor... I'm not sure if it also needs a DMA channel. I think that's only for D shot. Got, but motor pads are pretty much guaranteed because they have to have a timer to work. Like for for so D shot, you know, yeah, that's why you know you can remap one. Mm-hmm. D shot requires a timer and a DMA. Well, you could do bit bang DMA, but but usually you would you would have a DMA channel. But D shot requires a timer, so all mo all motor pads on all modern flight controllers have a dedicated timer, and that means they will also work for LED strip. 
So there you go.